your dark arms about me. Protect me in your black embrace. I sit alone. An I'm looking for the exit on this, y'all. Trust me. Looking for the exit on my talk about this getting out of the Matrix nonsense. Not saying that if I do find the exit that I won't return to the matter, but I'm just saying I am looking for the exit, though. No need Something to talk about it so much, and especially so often. Now, there's going to be two videos in the description box. References or citations or whatever. The first one was done in August of 2021. Almost two years ago. And it's titled, Do You Know That The Mad Head Doctor Wants To Know If You Would Take The Jab? In that video, in that video, I was expressing my distaste for a dude named Mad Bitter Truth. He's a diehard conspiracy theorist. And I mentioned the video he did showing people lined up at some store. And he did this video when they first let the bug out on us. And there was this big rush to the stores. Remember, people were buying up everything and the stores couldn't even keep enough toilet paper on the shelves. Y'all remember that. And he referred to these people who were lined up outside of these stores, he referred to them as the dumb people. And I'm thinking, what do you mean dumb? I talked about this in that video about the, would you take the jab? I'm thinking, what do you mean dumb? For stocking up in case of emergency, how is that dumb? And you can click on that video uh, and hear me ask him, what is his problem? And I was asking, where does he get his stuff from if going to the stores is dumb? I wonder if people like him, uh, I wonder if people like him keep band-aids in, in his house since having emergency supplies is dumb. The other video that'll be in the description box is titled, The Help. The first video is on my other channel, but The Help is on this channel. The Help was done in 2019 four years ago. In that video, I cited three types of people who I said were the most important types of people when it comes to the uh, ill direction that the world is headed in. And what direction is it headed in? To hell. To hell. That's, that's the direction. And this was done, this video was done to help. This video was done before they let the COVID out on us. And I haven't changed my mind on these important types of people. One of these important types of people were preppers. I even featured the prophet of doom. I'm, I'm Ye you, years I'm before you. he now went out and done what he oh, done. Oh. This is him right here. What is Knucklehead doing? Well, Knucklehead, what Knucklehead is about to do here is he's about to go out and shoot up a train full of people. Unfortunately, nobody died, but he did shoot nine to ten people. Right? I knew he was crazy, but I didn't realize the extent of it. I thought he was just talking and, you know, sometimes we never know. Because sometimes people are just talking and other people who are just talking are really not playing at all. They is not playing. But you never know sometimes. But I had him, I had him in that help video. He was prepping and even said that he's scared of guns. So he showed his slingshot. Yeah, part of his prepper stuff was a slingshot. He showed it. He did a series on prepping, and the series was called Prepper Stuff. I remember the title of it. It was called Prepper Stuff. When he showed the slingshot, his exact words was, I don't fuck with guns. But he didn't shoot up that train with no slingshot, though. But anyway. No, if you want to ask me some questions, please leave, in the, leave some comments. And let me know what you think about it. Or if you have any ideas to share with me, please do that also. And, um... Here's the, here's my uh, prepping video. Thank you. All right, so as we move along here, you can see um, you're looking at um, some shelves that I have, and these are the items that I have on the shelving. This, this is um, three boxes of matches you see right there in front wrapped up. And that's, again, that's some uh, soap powder that I stocked up on just in case the prices start going crazy. As you can see now, people are robbing and 
killing and stuff for, you know, I mean, not killing, but, you know, robbing and stealing soap now because the prices are so high. So I figured I'd stock up on some, some of these items. And I'm just moving to another area now, so the camera's kind of, I'm kind of, you know, don't want to show my whole house, so I'm kind of by. Okay, so here we go with some more items that I, um, emergency supplies that I have. This is a marine radio called the Grundage. And again, it's collapsible, so it's uh, real compact. It doesn't take up a lot of space. Okay, now, last but not least, uh, you know, this is uh, a lot of preppers like to show off their firearms. Well, this is my firearm. This is my 9mm. That's about as close as I can get to a 9mm. I see a lot of preppers, they got they got guns, you know, they got AK-47, 9mm. Well, this is my uh, 9mm right here. About as close as I can get, I'm going to get to having a 9mm. And uh, that's about everything. That's the whole, that's my whole uh, prepping kit so far. Of course, I'm going to add to it, but that's it. I bring up these videos that I've done because of this, uh, these straw man, non sequitur hybrid responses. Part straw man, part non sequitur. When I do these videos talking about crazy people who have deluded themselves into believing that they've escaped the matrix already, their responses have been, but what's wrong with being prepared in case of emergency? It's if I've been speaking against being prepared. I've done no such a thing. Lining up outside the stores, that ain't dumb. What would be dumb is if I call them dumb for doing it. And the kind of people I'll be talking about, they listen here to my little tiny microscopic channel. A few of them are here. And they respond. How do I know? Well, I know because I listen to them. And even though they don't say my name and try to be indirect as possible, I can still tell that they just finished listening to me talk about how delusional they are for thinking that they've already fled Babylon. I can hear them. You ain't got to say my name. And their responses have been, What's wrong with being prepared? I'm not authorized to drive the trucks. So My answer is, my it's nothing with, it, it's nothing wrong with that at all. Make something happen. Nothing wrong with that. All the way up until you tell yourself that you're out of here and that you're not here with the rest of us, that's when something is wrong with being prepared. Hey, hey wasn't David Koresh prepared? Hey, hell yeah. Hell yeah, he was prepared. Yeah, they was prepared. Took out about four or five ATF agents too, but of households. But at one point, we were watching there's that game. but. And that's when the fire started. We have. What I haven't been speaking against being prepared. You know, let me let Lionel. I know y'all probably get tired of this, but let me let Lionel tell y'all again what I have been saying. Now, let me try this again. This is the prison. This is where everybody is. And you're not getting out. And I've got these people. This is my favorite. Well, we're moving to Florida. <laughs> you're going to show them. Yeah, buddy. Well, we're going to go to... Uh, where, where, where are you going? Well, we're going to get away from this. And what? And what's going to happen there? So you're, so you're escaping. Well, unlike people... In the prison, they can't escape. So, okay, good. You think you're escaping? I'm going to that part of the prison. I hate this part. What is this? Nine uh, south or whatever? I'm going to four north. That's where I'm going. I'm getting. I'm moving over to this part of the prison. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're moving to Florida. Yeah, that's it. That's what I've been saying. And I'm not doing this because I think that the people I'll be aiming at will stop. I know they'll continue to do what they do because they need the delusion of being out of the matrix in order to feel comfortable with themselves and feel better than the rest. So I'm not doing this for them. I'm doing that so that others don't get me misunderstood. As a matter of fact, the kind of people who I'm aiming at, they know exactly what I'm saying, which is why they uh, conjure up the part straw man, part non sequitur hybrid responses and will say, but what's wrong with being prepared? I haven't said a word against being prepared. Okay, now, Not one word piece, against it have I said. The kind of people I aim at. The ones who are out of the system, they say. 
They can't even talk. Won't say words like COVID. They'll say, uh, they'll call it the coup or the beer flu or something. Won't say words, but are out of the beast system, they say. Yeah. Out of the beast system, not trapped in it like the rest of us are, but still can't speak how they want to speak in fear of getting flagged. Yeah. They have to go talk in private places and uh, whisper in places like their own websites. On here, they have to speak in code. Don't even are? feel free to speak, but they claim they're out of the matrix. Now how, and now if that's not delusional, I don't know what is. But the kind of people that I aim at, they love to preach about this all-encompassing threat that seeks to devour everything and everyone, mind, body, and spirit, land, sea, and air, all things, except for where they've ran off to or what they have stored up. Everybody's everything is on the menu and in danger, except for them and the things that they have. Their place and their stuff are, uh, uh, I guess they figure uh, that their place and their stuff are uh, forbidden places for demons to enter. Snatch the girl from them! My understanding of the few and the few is a description that I recently adopted from this animated film that I saw a few months ago it's called uh, it's called dinner for the few I'll put that in the description box it's a weird cartoon but it describes things perfectly the few the one percent the globalist the imperialist the elite or whatever I call them the few these days but what I understand is that Nothing. There is nothing that's not on the chopping block for them. They want everything and everyone. Bring me everyone. What do you mean everyone? Everyone!